Everyone who has worked on CAD or BIM software knows an open secret. Your work is quite precise when you are working in 2D. When you work in 3D inside the software, a particular scene may look accurate and comforting to you. But the moment you make a change in that 3D view, for example, move an edge or shift a point, there is always a chance you may have got it wrong. You may find that the point you shifted looked right in one view. But from another view, it was all totally skewed. Let's see an example picked up from YouTube showing such issues in a 3D software. Number three has created a lot of frustration for a lot of people in SketchUp, and that's not drawing along the axes. So most of you know, if you use a tool in SketchUp, like the line tool, SketchUp will give you an inference line whenever you're actually on an axis. So for example, if I activate the line tool and I click, and then I move my mouse, you can see how it turns green when I'm on the axis. However, if I move my mouse off to the side, I'm still drawing a line, but I'm not drawing it parallel to the axis anymore. And so what happens is if you don't draw with your tools on an axis, what can happen is SketchUp can kind of, SketchUp kind of guesses as to where your lines need to be. So if I come in here and I'm just drawing in space like this, a lot of the time what happens is you'll end up with lines that just go up just a little bit. So something like this. And then you'll end up drawing, and you can see how this line looks like it's on the green axis, but it's not because it didn't turn green. And so this can lead to issues like faces not closing and other things like that. Finally, one of the mistakes that beginners make when they're moving objects around in their models is they simply try to take an object and just put it in an arbitrary point in space. And as you can see, when you do this without using any kind of inferencing, you don't really know where your, where your object is going to end up. You can see how I can't really adjust based on just trying to pick an arbitrary point in space where this box goes. So you can see how I can drag this and it kind of looks like it's next to this box, but it's really not because SketchUp isn't sure where to put that in space. Why does this happen? The answer is not obvious. The 3D experience on any 2D surface, such as a monitor, is always simulated. It is physically impossible to get real 3D on a 2D surface. So the math tries to fool your eyes by creating a perspective effect mathematically. But such tricks has its limits. There are always chances of parallax and other errors that can cloud your perception, as seen in the earlier examples. When you have lots of 3D in the scene, these perception errors multiply rapidly. In short, there are a lot of times when you are interrupted by these mistakes. Each such interruption ends up distracting your central focus of design. The software does give visual colored hints which you have to spend time learning and looking out for. And it also restricts you by doing absurd things such as constraining you to the three axis. So what was the point of all that 3D, right? Are you really being freely creative or restrained due to some silly math issue inside a software? TAD does excellent 3D work, but it does it by allowing you to always work in 2D which is extruded on any surface, including working on surfaces that themselves were extruded. The maths inside is rather clever, it fully understands where all your work goes, and which surface receives which set of extrusions. So when you ask it to generate the 3D preview, it puts all of them together in a jiffy and you get the exact 3D. Every time, without any errors.